Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video. Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video. We will talk about the rational functions. So last time, kasi may mga nabasa ako na mga bata or nag-message sa akin that they are still confused about rational functions. So ang target talaga nito is to give knowledge and learning para sa mga STEM students natin or even sa mga senior high school students natin na merong subject na general mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let us define first what is a rational function? A rational function, r of x, at the representation natin, is a function of the form r of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where q of x is not equal to 0. Another thing, that p of x and q of x are polynomials. So, dapat alam nyo rin kung kailan nagiging polynomial ng sa expression kasi kailangan, uh, importante ito guys. So let me give you examples, diba? Um, if we have r of x is equal to p of x over q of x, baka makonfuse kayo. Possible kasi na ma-encounter yung form natin as f of x is equal to p of x over q of x. Uh, they are equal guys. Ano lang kasi, itong f, f of x natin, ito yung standard na ginagamit to represent a function, okay? Narify lang natin. And another thing, Possible na yung r of x natin ay may counter nyo rin as y. Kasi yung y natin is also equal to f of x and also this y is also equal to r of x. Kasi yung y natin represents your output. Now, let me give you examples of rational function. So example style. First example natin, let's have r of x is equal to 1 over x squared. Ang tanong dito, is it an example of a rational function? Yes, definitely um, r of x is equal to 1 over x squared is an example of rational function. So ano yung reason? Unang reason, Number one, itong numerator natin is a polynomial. And our denominator is a polynomial. Based on the definition, so I believe ba, ito yung representation natin, r of x is equal to p of x over q of x, wherein p of x and q of x are polynomials. Since your numerator and denominators are example of polynomials, definitely, that is an example of rational function. So, let's have another example. I adjust lang natin ito guys. Ha? R of x is equal to 1 over x squared. Let's have another example. What if we have r of x again, ito dito ano? Um, r of na lang. Rational function. r of x is equal to 4x plus 4 over x minus 2. Ang tanong dito guys, is it a rational function? Yes. Your numerator, 4x plus 4, is a polynomial as well as your denominator. So this is R, F. Okay, rational function. Let's have another example. Uh, let's try using f of x, okay? is equal to x squared plus 3 over x plus 2. Ang tanong dito, is it a polynomial function? Is it a rational function? Yes. Again, this one is an example of rational function. Kasi meron tayong polynomial na x squared plus 3 at ito yung ating x plus 2. It's also a polynomial. Ang isipin mo lang dito guys, para masabi mong um, Rational function siya, dapat yung ating function is a ratio of two polynomials. So let's continue. Now let's try having, ito naman, y is equal to x cubed plus 2x minus 1 over 2x 
minus 1. Is it a, pol is it a rational function? Yes. Baka no, nalilito ka lang, ang sabi ko sa inyo kanina, yung y natin is also equal to f of x, where in equal din siya sa r of x natin. They are just representation of functions. Sila lang yung mga notations natin. Okay? So this one is our rational function. So sasabi, bibigyan ko naman kayo ng example ng hindi rational function. Let's say we have um, f of x is equal to x plus 1 over 0. Since meron tayong restriction that q of x is not equal to 0, o yung denominator natin dapat hindi equal to 0, automatic guys, this one is not a rational function. Kasi magiging undefined siya. Okay? Magiging undefined yung function. Okay? I hope na makuha nito. Another thing, let's try f of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus 1 over x minus 5. Is it a rational function? Hindi po. Okay? Hindi po polynomial ang numerator natin na nasa radical. So this one is a not rational function. Okay? So I hope guys na sa ating first 6 examples ay nakuha mo na yung mismo konsepto kung kailan ba naging rational function o hindi. As long as alam mo na mapag-create ka ng ratio of two polynomials, automatic, they're a rational function. And kailangan mo lang iwasan na yung denominator ay maging equal to zero. So in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you three examples. Again, three examples na kayong mismong sasagot para magkaroon kayo ng practice along this video. And I hope na yung sagot nito ay makita ko sa ating comment section. Now, for your activity, guys, I have here three different examples wherein here's the given direction. Determine whether the given is a rational function or not. So, you will determine if this item, this item, or this item is a function or rational function or not. And I hope na you can answer this uh, on your own para makita ko sa ating comment section. Please do comment your answer para makita natin if you learn something from this video. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!